All right, so a little update here. Starting to put in uh, cinder blocks for the uh, foundation. Uh, gonna level them all out. I'm just gonna do the four corners right now. So I've measured, I've got, I've got this one leveled. That's my 12 foot marker. And Right now, I'm getting ready to clear this area to put in the next cinder block for this corner. This is the back corner. And then I'll go ahead and I'll go to the front end and I'll put boards across them just to make sure they're level all the way and start filling in the cinder blocks as I go down. I'm hoping to have this done, at least this part done today. Um, since this is taking me quite a long time to uh, get to this point. So anyhow, wanted to give it a quick update where I'm at with this project. I've kind of, I'm probably going to modify the building uh, for the rafters. I'm looking at what I can do. Um, I don't think I need to have as many rafters as it calls for. It should be seven on each side. There's 14 pieces per side, which is 28 pieces. And I really think I could probably get away with, you know, maybe eight per side. So anyhow, I'm gonna start getting getting it done, All right. and I'll update as I so, go through. Back left, back right corners are set and leveled. I started on the front end. I gotta tell you, a little after one o'clock in the afternoon, it's only 88 degrees, but with humidity at almost 60 percent and it feels like 94 degree weather temperature i've got to stop because it's just it's really hot out today so anyhow a little further and i'll get back out here when it cools off a little bit later on Maybe I can get get a little more done. And I can have the entire structure on its cinder block foundation. So anyhow, hope everybody else is having a great day. Staying cool. Date later. So, back side set. <laughs> Pardon me. Ah. And front side are set. Hopefully, that's the way I needed it. I've measured it out. We'll see how it goes. Anyhow, I've got to clear out some of that center area now. It's like I fill it in to take it out because I took it out just to fill it in. But uh, it's a process. Okay, so for today, at least for now, um, it's about noon. I have finished the north wall foundation I've got the corners done on each of 
we've got the west wall done. The east and south wall I need to finish, but there's not much trenching to do here on that part. With the uh, temperature being in the 90s and the uh, humidity being 100%, I'm just not going to be able to retain enough water to keep going or I would. So I'm being told to be smart and I'm going to be smart. Anyhow, figure here the uh, actual frame will be over on this in the next few days. I should be able to get it over here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center it. I'm going to pour concrete in the middle. I'm going to use some J anchors to hold the, the building to the cinder block foundation. And I'm going to actually clear out an area level with the cinder blocks. And I'm going to run this mesh screen. It's hardware cloth. There's 25 foot of it. I've got two rolls four foot wide. So all I'll need is really three sections run either 12 foot or 10 foot on the bottom and then I'll cover it with the dirt and we're looking at either we're going to use some hay straw uh, we're going to get some what they call contractor grade uh, sand or gravel I don't know if anybody's had any dealings with that if you have some ideas it would be great to hear from somebody to tell me whether or not what they think would be best to keep the smell down as well as to be more sanitary for the chickens and the ducks so anyhow plugging along it's getting there Hope everybody has a great Memorial Day. Remember all of those who have sacrificed so much for this country, for our freedoms and liberties. And let's remember that today is not a day of barbecue and day off party it's it's really in remembrance to pay honor to our fallen all right so till next video all right another wall down or foundation section down south west and north done and more i have to work Let's see if we can get this one taken care of all right so on the last video or the last few videos the actual walls the lower walls and the front end of the chicken house was sitting over here while I messed with the walls and the walls are now or the foundation and that's now done 
Cinder blocks are all taken care of. They're all in there. Inside area has been raked and shoveled out the way I want it. So that I can put that mesh screen in here on the on the floor and then put some dirt back in as a, a barrier from anything burrowing in and that'll be probably tomorrow that I do that so as it's gonna be too hot this afternoon to continue working and we're expecting rain later on this afternoon yet again so anyhow I worked all all morning till uh, a little after 11 I don't even remember what time I went in uh, but this is done yay tired of digging definitely won't be doing another build like this uh, for a chicken house I think next one I'll do something like what Justin Rhodes or Al from Lumina Acres uh, has maybe a, a chickshaw a portable chickshaw but uh, this is going to be the chick chickens and the ducks and the goose's house um, once I get all the I get all this concreted in get the uh, bottom half of this structure bolted down then I can start building the rest of the uh, frame work for the roof area I'll have that done and uh, I'll be done with this project and the last thing to do is to put in the fencing for it and we're going to use the Premier One electrified poultry fencing so anyhow that's it for this video we'll see you on the next video I don't know if it'll be an update to this or something else so anyhow hope everybody has a great weekend <laughs>